One thing that uh, gets lost these days is the fact that even though we have a lot of terrific new exciting uh, treatments for metastatic melanoma, and melanoma is, pre is predominantly a surgical disease and that we're able to cure about 95% of patients uh, with just surgery alone. Um, and so that the treatment of melanoma has been really well studied in this country and in Europe for about the last 75 years and we have a lot of evidence-based uh, medicine now to guide us on how to treat patients. Uh, and we usually think about the treatment of melanoma surgically in three different categories. One is the treatment of the primary melanoma, the second is the treatment of the lymph nodes, and the third is the treatment of metastatic uh, melanoma to other sites uh, that my colleague Dr. Russell Berman is going to be speaking to you today about. Uh, so melanoma is different than other skin cancers and mostly from different from other tumors in that it has the ability to spread very aggressively locally and form satellite metastases around it. And that's why simple excision isn't really enough for melanoma the way that it would be for basal cell carcinomas and squamous cell carcinomas. And a hundred years ago, surgeons were taking enormous 10 to 15 centimeter margins around melanomas because they thought that the melanomas spread very broadly along the underlying fascial planes. And we know from many, many studies done over the last hundred years in the United States and Europe that this is not really how melanoma spreads. And there have been many prospectively randomized studies, a lot of very good ones, to determine how narrow we can get uh, when we remove a melanoma so that the surgery is not disfiguring uh, and does the job.